friends welcome back so in this video i'm going to show you how to make your designs fully responsive in figma let's get into it okay so here i have three screen size specifications i have a desktop screen 1440 pixels a tablet screen 744 pixels and a mobile screen 430 pixels so I'll select the desktop frame. Notice how all layers adjust responsively as I scale. And this is because I've added responsive settings to this design. Now, alternatively, I have a second version without these responsive settings. And if I try to scale, you'd notice the disorganized and unresponsive behavior of these layers, right? We don't want that, okay? So I'm going to show you how to make your designs fully responsive for different screen sizes. By the way, guys, you can grab this Figma file for free in the description. Okay, let's get started. So let's start by creating a desktop frame. So hit F on your keyboard, go to the design panel on the right and select the desktop frame template. Let me zoom in a bit to 64%. Cool. So I'll add column grids, so go back to the design panel on the right and click the plus icon next to layout grid. Change grids to columns, set the column counts to 12, margin to 64 and gutter to 30. Cool. Okay, so let's get started with the header. So if I try resizing this, as you can see, it's not yet responsive. So I'll fix this. I'll start with the two buttons. So I want these two buttons to be fixed to the top right corner of my page. So first I'll select the two buttons, hit shift plus A on my keyboard to create an auto layout, go to constraints on the right hand side. And I have two options. The first represents horizontal constraints. So horizontally I can constrain layers to the left, right, center scale. And the second represents vertical constraints. So I'll go ahead and set horizontal constraints to right and vertical constraints to top. So now when I adjust the frame size, you see the buttons are responsive in behavior. Cool. Next, I'll try to fix the logo. So I want this logo to maintain the top left position. So I'll select the logo, shift plus A, go to the design panel on the right hand side and on the constraints set horizontal constraints to left and vertical constraints to top okay let's try resizing the frame again so you see that's cool that works now i have these nav items and i want these to be constrained to the top center of my page so i'll select the three text layers hit shift plus a adjust the spacing between them and I'll head over to constraints on the right and set to center and top. Okay, next I'll try again to resize and now the header section is fully responsive, you guys. Now let's get to the hero section. I have two text layers and a button on the left. So first I'll select all three layers, hit shift plus A to add an auto layout, change the spacing to 28. It's fine. And then I'll set the horizontal constraints to scale and vertically to center. Let's try resizing the frame. Okay, not quite there yet. I will select the first text layer, go to the design panel on the right and set horizontal resizing to fill container. I'll also select the subtext and do the same. So change horizontal resizing to fill container. Now let's try resizing again. Okay, so the layer is now fully responsive. Okay, next is the illustration on the right. So currently you see the behavior of the illustration is not responsive. So to fix that, I'll select the illustration, set the constraints to center, and I want this to scale vertically. Now let's try resizing again. So all fixed, right? Next, I'll select the text layer and I will constrain this to the center and center. Cool. Let's try resizing again. So cool, guys. We're almost done. Okay. Okay. Now I have these three frames. Let's see the current behavior by resizing. You guys, clearly this is not ideal or responsive, right? 
So I want the illustration to remain centralized to the top of this frame. So I'll set the horizontal constraints to center and vertical to top. Then I'll select the two text layers inside the parent frame. Hit Shift plus A to ensure consistent spacing between them. Then I'll select the parent frame and constrain this to left and right and scale. Now I'll go ahead and repeat the same for the other two frames. So now let's try resizing again. And now the whole page is fully responsive. Okay, cool. So I'll quickly share some design tips for smaller screen sizes, okay? Let's start with the tablet screen. So here I've set the column grid to eight columns, 30 pixel margin and 24 pixels gutter, okay? Now if you notice what I've done here is that I've created a second row for some of the header items. Remember what I told you, you guys, there is no one size fits all when it comes to responsive design specifications, okay? Something else you'll notice is that I have center aligned the text and button layer and I have pushed the illustration down. And I have also slightly decreased the width of these frames. So clearly only two can fit on one row. So I'll push the third downwards, okay? And for the mobile screen, I have used a hamburger menu to replace the full header navigation. And for the cards, I have just one on each row, okay? Thanks for watching. And if you liked this video, then please subscribe to my channel, turn on notifications, leave a comment so I can bring you amazing content every week, okay? Bye, friends.